All right, so today we are just going to be talking about some of my favorite products that I've discovered more recently. Um, so for 2018, I made a couple resolutions for myself, and one of them was to start just trying more new products and branching out more because I really tend to find something that I like and then I just stick with it and I don't ever try anything else. Um, and so I've been trying for the past, I don't know, couple weeks, um, really just expanding my horizon and trying some new stuff. Um, so if you are interested in hearing about what some of these products are that I've really been enjoying, um, feel free to keep watching. There's kind of a combination here of face stuff, um, some lip products, some highlights, some primer, um, a couple brushes. So if you're interested, keep on watching. All right, so I am going to start off with a primer that I've like recently just been obsessed with. Um, for the longest time, I didn't think that primer really helped my skin and I didn't see the purpose. I didn't know why some people um, were so adamant that it really is helpful. And now I'm learning that that is because I was never using the right primer. Um, I just recently started using this one, the Smashbox um, Photo Finish Primerizer. So this is a primer and a moisturizer. Um, now I live in Minnesota. It's so cold. It's so dry. This really, really helps to give my skin that moisture. I mean, I still get out of the shower. I cleanse, moisturize, and then I wait like 30-ish minutes typically before I put my face makeup on and I put this on and it is the extra boost of moisture that my skin needs to not look dry and cakey once I put my foundation on. Um, I tend to gear towards more like matte foundations. Um, my all-time favorite as of right now is the Maybelline Matte and Poreless. Um, so being a matte foundation, it sticks to my dry patches more. But when I pair this with this, it's amazing. I can't believe the difference and how well this sinks into my skin. Um, texture wise, I don't know if you'll be able to see here. It's really liquidy. It is, it feels almost, you can kind of see it's almost watery. Um, it's really slippery. It's not sticky, which is kind of the primers I prefer. I don't like when my face feels tacky after I put a primer on. Um, so yeah, if you're looking for moisture and just something to kind of smooth out your face and help give you just that extra moisture, um, this dry season especially, then this is seriously amazing. Also, you need such a small amount, like one pump will be enough for my whole face. I kind of concentrate, here is where I get dry, I get dry on my nose and then especially in this area. So I concentrate it there and then I kind of bring um, any excess out more onto my skin. So yeah, that is the primer um, that I have recently just been so obsessed with. On to the next. So the next thing I'm gonna talk about is a CC Cream at Cosmetics. Now I know this has been around for a while. Uh, it's gotten quite a bit of hype and I am just now discovering how amazing it is. I've had it for a couple months and I maybe used it like once or something, but um, recently I am just realizing that, oh my gosh, it's amazing. Um, it's so lightweight on the skin. It looks so natural. It feels so natural. Um, I'm in the shade Fair. I love putting this on with the It Cosmetics um, globe brush here. It seriously applies so smoothly. And I know you don't necessarily need to use a primer with CC creams, but I have been using the primerizer underneath this just because my skin is so dry. Um, and it just, seriously, it applies like a dream. And then all the other products I put on top of it really blend in nicely. I don't have any issues with anything sticking anywhere or just kind of like looking patchy. It goes on so nicely um, and a little bit goes a long way. I have a lot of kind of redness in my face and just some discoloration and this really really does help to kind of just um, bring everything together, tone down the redness and I guess my favorite part is just how lightweight it is. You don't feel like you're wearing a super full coverage foundation when you have this on, but you look like you do. So who doesn't want that kind of result? I mean, I don't know. This is a good one. Next, I am going to talk about two different highlighters. Um, so highlighters are probably one of my favorite parts um, of makeup. Um, I don't know, I feel like at the end when I have everything finished and then you just put on some highlight, it really just pulls everything together. Um, so let's start with this one. So this is the Pure Bronze and Brighten Palette. Um, now, 
inside of here there's three different shades so there is a bronzer a highlight and a blush um, for me personally I'm probably not gonna use the other two for their intended purposes um, I might use them for like an eyeshadow they're really pretty they're just it's too pigmented of a blush for me and too shimmery of a bronzer they're gorgeous don't get me wrong I just I don't know not for my skin tone but this highlight is seriously incredible I'm just gonna put on a little to show you guys I already have some on but we're gonna go over it um, this is just my BH cosmetics highlight brush it is seriously so beautiful um, it's easy to build I mean it just looks amazing and it's really lightweight on the skin it looks nice and natural like it's nothing too crazy it's just I'm obsessed like I would honestly in the future buy this palette again just to get that highlight and it looks like I'd never looked at the back before but the back um, it does have the names and it looks like the highlight is called afterglow so I might be researching to see if I can buy that separately um, the next highlight I'm going to talk about is from Wet n Wild. So this one I think was like $6 on their website. And this is called Boozy Brunch. Um, now looking on it, looking at it online, I wasn't super sold. I mean, it looks kind of, I don't know, all together, it's not something I would typically reach for. But I'm so glad I got it because it is seriously so beautiful. So it's pretty gold, um, but depending kind of what else you have going on on your face, it blends out really nice. It's almost just like a champagne-y shimmer. Oh, I like putting this one, and I'll do some right now, just up to highlight my brow bone, kind of just in this area. And it's just like the perfect little pop. It's so gorgeous, it goes on so smoothly, and it's seriously so affordable. Like Wet n Wild, I feel like has really stepped up their game when it comes to their products. Like that's so nice. It blends in there nicely. Oh, obsessed. I love, 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 love this one. So if you are looking for a good drugstore highlighter, and look how big this pan is. I mean, it is seriously huge. I was expecting it to be a lot smaller, and I got it in the mail, and this thing is giant. So those are my two highlighters that I... I'm obsessed with and I'm having a hard time even trying anything else because I just I could use these every day for the rest of my life and be totally content all right next product next I'm gonna talk about one eye product um, so I just got this one not that long ago and I've only used it a couple times but I can already tell that I'm going to just be in love so we're gonna talk about it this is ColourPop their supernova shadow and this is an UF woe um, so it is a kind of a liquid eyeshadow um, if you look at it here it is beautiful so shimmery it literally is just like melted metal it just oh there aren't even words so with this one what I've been doing is I'll kind of just finish off my eye look and then maybe I'll just dab on a little right now so I'll do all the powder shadow I want to do and then I will just go in with just a tiny bit of this right now we're just gonna kind of focus it in the center here and then just kind of pat it in they dry fairly quickly um, so that's nice because I know I've used some liquid shadows that don't dry as quickly and it makes it a little harder for them to be usable but this is seriously so pretty I am already so excited to order some more because they have quite a few shades um, oh, it's just gorgeous it's so pretty I'm just obsessed um, so yeah I mean I've used quite a few liquid eyeshadows recently I've kind of been playing around with them Stila is still one of my favorites but for the price I should add these are like seven dollars so I'm gonna need to get me some more of these next product all right last product there's two products um, these are both ColourPop lip products so funny story when I ordered these initially I swatched them on my hand and I hated them and I thought I was never ever ever going to wear them um, so this one 
the writing has worn off a lot, is the Ultra Glossy Lip. Now this one is called Moonchild. It's a part of the collaboration with Kathleen Lights. And then this one is Ultra and also Glossy Lip. And it is called Wham. And this is part of the collaboration with Laura Lee. Um, so, yeah, I swatched them. I'll kind of show you the swatches here. So here's this one. And here is Wham. So when I swatched them initially, this is such a dark nude gloss. And you can kind of see it's picking up a little bit. There's a lot of like gold glitter in it. Um, which off the bat, I just thought it was too weird of a gloss color for me. Like if I'm going to wear a nude lip, I'll just do like a liquid lipstick. Um, and then this one I thought would be more of just a subtle gloss, but it is literally just gold sparkles. And they're gorgeous. They just were not at all what I was expecting when I ordered them. Um, so I'll just go ahead and put some on really quick though. They seriously... It is so beautiful once you get it on. Like, I was like, fine, I'll try them on before I, like, write off that I don't like them. And then I like putting this one a little bit right in the center to kind of highlight. Seriously, gorgeous. Um, the shimmer isn't overpowering once it's on. And I'm the kind of person where I like glosses more than I like lipsticks. Um... So I don't know, for being like that right when I got them, I seriously thought that there was no way I was ever going to wear these, and I thought they were going to go in my like junk drawer of lip glosses that I never in a million years wear. I really enjoy them. Um, I think ColourPop's glosses are super comfortable on the lips. Uh, they stay as well as a gloss is going to stay, and for the price point, you seriously cannot go wrong. I know these two are limited editions since they are collabs, so... If you are looking for like a just pretty natural gloss with like quite a bit of shimmer, I mean, this one literally, if you look, is just gold. And this one, I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see, you can see the gold specks in there. Um, so they complement each other really well. And overall, I'm just super happy with these. So highly, highly, highly recommend these guys. All right, so that is everything um, that I want to talk about today. So I just wanted to say thank you for watching. Um, I probably will be doing more of these videos in the future. It just kind of keeps me accountable to trying new products too because like I said, I tend to fall into a habit of using the same stuff over and over again. Um, so by doing this, it kind of gives me a little accountability that I need to be trying new stuff to let you guys know what I've been trying and what I like and what I don't like. Um, so yeah, perfect. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Thank you.